Now, next part is we are going to play with the Docker. So we are going to build the Docker image. To build the Docker image, we are going to run this command. And what is this command? Let me explain it. So here we are running Docker is CLI, right? Passing the command build, then minus T is, so this is tag. We are tagging the image, what we are going to build with the name my node app, okay? And then to build the image, it needs the Docker file, right? So here we are saying, get the docker file from the current directory. What does it mean? It means we should be running this command from our application directory. Let me show you. If you go here, here, here we have the docker file, right? So it's expecting run this command from here. Let me show one thing. Let me close this, okay? And let's go one step back, okay? Clear the screen. And if you see here, we don't have docker file, right? If I go and run this, it will give you the error. You know why? Because it's not able to find the docker file. It's saying, fail to solve fail to read a docker file right so this is not open okay open docker file no such file or directory so it's not able to find the docker file okay so what does it mean it means we need to go in my application clear the screen and if you run from here it will work okay so let's run this now you see this is building the image what exactly this is doing when this is building the image so this is doing all the steps what we have explained in our docker file here let's scroll up and see first of all it's going to follow these steps so this is one step second step third step fourth step, five, six, and seven. So we have seven stages of this image, okay? So when Docker, try to understand, when Docker build a image, it's built in a layered way, okay? So that's why if you scroll down here, you see, okay, it's one of five, okay? So first step was getting the Docker base image, right? So one of five it was doing. So it's got the Docker image, I scroll down, and you see, second is setting up the working directory. So that was the second layer, okay? Third layer was copying the package.json, and fourth was running npm and fifth was copying okay then it's exporting the image exported the image now our image is ready with name of my node app okay so this is layered image so when this build the image it has each and every layer now in case if xyz edition if you don't want to build the layered image then what you can do you can pass this no cache means it will skip the layer caching so when it's building the image it's caching the all layer so it will cache it okay this is advanced section don't worry just for your information then let's say if you have the docker file with a different name okay then with minus f hyphen f we can pass the file name okay where the file name is so we can specify we have the different file and again we are in the current directory so by default it's go and try to find docker file okay but let's say if you are building the different docker file for the production right so maybe you can add dot plot extension so maybe production you are running on the different port right that's small difference so if you have this kind of requirement then you can use minus f okay to give the name of the docker file perfect now let's verify the image how do we verify using this command docker images and this will show you all available images here. So as of now, we have only one image, right? So Docker image, we see my Docker app. This is our image name, tag is latest. This is the ID, it's created two minutes ago and total size is 1.09 GB of this image. Size is very important. I will explain this maybe in the next section, okay? Don't worry. But yeah, this is very important when you are working as a DevOps engineer in the real time application. Now we can inspect the image if you want. To inspect means if you want more details, okay? So using Docker inspect your image name. So leave it, I will do it later. You can inspect your image, your container, your volume, anything, okay? So if you want to inspect, want to look more detail about your image and containers or any Docker object, okay? Then we use inspect. 